little better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. The 
flippers on the sides of their bodies are called pectoral flippers and are mainly used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them, just like the human hand. The lobes at the end of the tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are a killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour. And they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. <laughs> Whistles to socialize in the pond. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, cats learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, kill whales use body language as part of their communication. They use pectoral slaps to show their dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a pet slap to gain her cat's attention. But when they really want to be heard, they'll breach. <laughs> Sky hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings when they hunt. that the killer whale uses in the wild. Every day they cooperate 
to survive in the wild oceans of the world. Nor's <laughs> hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, bringing them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful fan flukes, making for an easy meal. Thank you. 
man, so... Of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales, 
By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.